Good evening sa lahat and welcome to Free Dive Talk Pilipinas, episode 3. Ayan. And uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, uh, though late tayo nakapag-start, pero sana uh, uh, tututok pa rin kayo and hope you guys already eat your dinner and sana meron kayo mga notepads and pens dyan sa gilid niyo so you can jot down all the, uh, what you call this one, all the discussions that we had here sa ating talakayan ngayong gabi with our guest speaker. Alam ko, ready and ready na kayo at excited na kayo siyang makilala and gusto niyo siyang makitang uli. And to see his new look. <laughs> oh my God. Pero with that, uh, check ko nga kasi meron tayong ginawang konting improvement dito sa ating uh, live stream. Check nyo nga kung maririnig nyo ito. Ayan ba? Maririnig nyo ba yung mga sound effects natin? Ayan. Rinig nyo ba yung mga sound effects? Oy. Ay, nakikinig ba kayo yung sound effects? Ay ka ha. Let me check. Ayan, wait. How about this one? Nakikinig nyo ba? Oh, ah sorry. Sige, sige, wala. Baka nagka-problema. Anyway guys, hindi na natin papatagalin pa. Eto na. Our guest speaker this evening is uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, I met him way back 2016. Ah, 17 yata. 17. And ang dami ko nang nababalitaan tukol sa kanya. Sa sobrang galing niya. And then uh, isa siya sa mga pioneer na mga nagtuturo ng free diving dito sa Philippines. Uh, marami na nak- uh, nakakakilala sa kanya. No? Not just here in the Philippines, but Uh, all around the free diving community sa buong mundo. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, sa sobang haba na na introduction ko, hindi ko na papatagalin pa. Let me take you and introduce you to our guest speaker, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wait, wait, wait. Sana. Hello? Okay. Mr. Carlo Navarro! Coach! Hello? Mic check? Good ba? Hello, good evening. Hello. Good Kamusta evening. Na? Kamusta na? Kamusta na? Okay lang. Uh, <laughs> Ganda ayan. na shirt mo ah. Ito na yung new look ni Coach Carlo ngayon. Uh, bigote. Uh, uh, Habang bigote. Look. Mala ano. Mga wala na yan, look. pero sa ngayon, yung quarantine look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach, uh, first and foremost, nagpapasalamat ako sa for uh, granting my request uh, sa invitation ko for this uh, episode sa ating Free Dive Talk Philippines. Alam ko, sobrang busy mo ngayon. Marami kang ginagawa aside from free dive or ano ba. Uh, pinag-unlakan mo pa rin yung aking invitation for tonight. Sure. Sure. Um, actually, well, maganda nga itong inisip mong idea na, na at least people are in quarantine, people are in their houses. Parang something to keep the the free diving community still active. Kanig ba? Hello? Okay lang ba? Uh... Okay lang audio. Bakit test, test. One, two. Technical difficulties ngayon. <laughs> okay. Medyo nag-echo kaya pinatay ko actually yung sa isa. Hello? Rinig ba? Rinig ba naman? Okay. Coach, rinig ba? Thumbs Hello? up kasi wala akong, wala akong audio. Thumbs up kung narinig mo. Okay ako. ako. Thumbs up kung rinig. Okay. Hindi Ganyan nyo ako narinig. Lang, uh, ladies and gentlemen, while I'm fixing my uh, audio, I would like to turn the floor to you, to our uh, coach, Uh, Carlo, to introduce himself. Coach, take it away. Introduce yourself, please. Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for, for watching. Ako si Carlo Navarro, kung hindi niyo pa kilala. Uh, introduction. So, nag-start ako mag, 
magturo ng freedive no 2013. So sa so 2013 naging nag, uh, naging instructor ko under freediving Philippines kay Wolfgang, yung unang uh, freediving school dito sa Pilipinas. Tapos noon 2014 naging idol instructor ako. So parang nung back then wala pa talaga masyadong uh, institutions na nagtuturo. So yung si Ida pumasok lang mga 20, 2014. So si JP nag-set up shop siya sa Mall Bual. Kat- katapatan namin, doon na kami nagpa- nagpa-turo. Tapos noon, 2015, um, naging master instructor. Uh, 2015 din, bumalik na rin ako ng Manila. So, from then on, yan, Manila ako, nagtuturo ako based sa, sa Anilaw, sa Manila. Tapos just last year, uh, nakuha ko yung uh, instructor trainer under under Aida. Okay, congratulations um, to that coach. Congratulations! Ba? Yes, yeah. Renig, Rinkolch, Renig. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sige pa. Thank you naman. Pinatay ko okay. yung page mo kasi nag-echo eh. So, hindi ko malaman kung hindi ko nakikita yung mga comments or ano. Ate. Alright, Coach. Uh, kumusta naman? Uh, kumusta yung quarantine mo? Or how are you and your family during the ECQ? Itong panahon natin sa COVID, ano ba yung mga realizations natin? Well, uh, lockdown, syempre, wala akong magawa masyado. Pero, hindi siya as easy kasi nga, parang with two kids in the house in a small space. Uh, we try to make do. Pero, we can't complain kasi there, we know that there are a lot of other people who really have it more difficult, di ba? So, sa ngayon, um, try to take it day to day. Um... Uh, wife ko may trabaho din so mornings nagtatrabaho din siya so ako din yung tumutulong din dito okay okay so yeah. ganoon pa rin uh, masaya pa rin dyan sa bahay nyo kasi yung mga kids mo andyan yung family buo yung family so yun yung oh, minsan... kasi masaya nga parang you get more uh, quality time quality time no minsan uh, kung oh. dati sobrang focus natin sa trabaho medyo Minsan wala na tayong oras sa mga kids. Ngayon, uh, talagang all out yung oras natin para sa kanila. Oo nga. So medyo sobrang pro. <laughs> It's so good. Anyway, Coach, parang ano ba yung ano mo? Uh, do you think magtatagal pa tong lockdown na to? Ano ba sa tingin mo? Ano kayang idea mo about this? At itong nangyayari na sa atin ngayon sa COVID? Hard. Um, hard to say, pero di ba parang just a few days ago, naglalabas na sila ng mga guidelines on what to do pag gcq ka na. So, syempre, sa, sa mga na-free divers na nood, kitang-kita nyo, pwede mag-swimming. Pero kita nyo din from other posts na yung swimming sa beaches, di pa rin pwede. So, unless nasabihin nung LG Union dun sa lugar na pinag-dive nyo na pwede na, baka hindi pa rin. Pero syempre, This virus will be with us for a long time, so things will change, like manner of diving, um, prevention of spreading the virus. Dapat nandun parang sa atin yon. Even after GCQ, mawala yung quarantine. Kailangan may ingat parang tayo. Yeah, um, pinaka important importante dito. Dapat talagang we have to stay healthy. Uh, we have to be conscious sa ating mga kinakain para maging healthy tayo. Kahit na bumalik or Meron ng bagong tinatawag na new normal. Siguro makakapag-dive tayo uli. Pero uh, we have to be more conscious with our health siguro. Ganun na coach, no? Kasi... Yeah, that's true. Nga, parang, I, I know a lot of people a lot of people have na parang, uy, may dami kong oras. Na pwede kang mag, mag online courses, pwede kang mag tables, pwede kang mag... Parang you can do things with in relation to what you want to do. Pero... On the other hand, don't try to pressure yourself too much. Parang survive okay. lang. Uh, we get, we all get out of this healthy. Oh my God. Teka lang, Ay guys. Tapi ba? Okay, Coach. Uh, teka lang. Ito, uh, sige, Coach. Ganito. Ano yun? Wala. Oh, okay na. Uh, meron, et, simulan natin yung question um, paano ah yeah, i think nag na, mayroon ka ng some part of of 
uh, these questions na answer mo na kay Nina. Um, bakit you bakit free diving ang pinili mo coach? Uh, uh-huh. all uh, among the sports na maraming pwedeng pagpila, bakit free diving? Ah, uh, baka mabuhusan tayo ng oras ito. Ah. Um siguro a little bit on intro pa. So I got into for for the people who who don't know me yet. Um I got into skin diving nung college. So nung back then 1990 2001 wala pang free diving. So there was a small organization in UP katawag uh, UPMBS. So the thrust of the org was to to promote environmentalism through skin diving. So kasama doon sa sa application process to turn ka mag skin dive. Anong kasama doon? Snorkel, mask, fins, paano gamitin, paano ko nag cramps ka, paano kung nalunod yung kasama mo. So it's just basic parang life skill on on snorkeling and through that skill madaming projects na ginawa yung org on environmentalism uh clam clam seeding clam gardening uh tina projects uh community parang development uh, ingatan yung 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 seas yung oceans so hindi para for ever since may may inherent na attachment na ako sa sea So nung panahon na yon na nagtuturo kami ng nagtuturo ng skin diving naisip ko na noon na parang dapat baka may may proper way na gawin to. So uh, nag-search ako online, nakita ko yung free diving. Pero hindi ganoon kadali yon. Alam mo yung mga panahon na yon na dial up pa yung yung yes, no. yung internet, wala kang videos, wala kang kahit ano. So so nakita mo lang mga pictures, mga articles kung meron man. So back then may The earliest place you could do it was either in Hawaii or in or in Thailand ata. So PFI dun sa Hawaii o kaya si up niya total sa sa Thailand. So back then so jante syempre hindi ko pwedeng gawin. Um wala, walang tuloy lang kami dun sa skin dive. So uh, years past na nagtrabaho na ako sa sa PAL. Uh, by the by the time mga 2007, nalaman ko na si free diving Philippines nag-establish sa sa Mualbual. So nag-work na ako noon, um ipon-ipon konti, yung beginner course kinuha ko doon nang 2008, tapos yung advanced course kinuha ko nang 2011. So parang naghalo-halo na yung love of sea tapos on towards yeah. towards um trying to to free dive kasi back then din parang gusto ko din malaman eh ano bang kaya kong gawin. So nung panahon na medyo nag-iisip-isip na ako mag-quit sa PAL, gusto ko parang is naisip ko pa rin noon na gusto kong gusto kong alamin kung anong kaya kong gawin sa free dive. So actually after noon, uh, naging naging apprentice ako ni Wolfgang. So naging instructor ako under free dive Philippines from then on. Yeah. Pero hindi ko na inisip na magtuturo na ako ng free dive na uh, tuloy-tuloy. Okay. So coach, uh, recap lang. So yung ging instructor mo for free dive si Wolfgang Dafford. Tama po ba? Initially Kamusta? yes, yung yeah. beginner courses. Beginner course. Ah. Uh, Kum- mal- malaking Kumusta? difference ano, malaking difference ng ng courses. Ah, uh, kumusta yung course? Um, chempre uh, yes. nung ever since nung nag skin dive kami, kami-kami lang eh, di ba? O, may practice practice pero some somewhat hindi mong maganda yung structure nung first beginner course ko pala noon, just with the instruction nung uh, good professional napabot niya ako ng mga 4 minutes something sa breath hold. Ever since 2.30, 2.45, ganun lang ako. So, without the prior knowledge of how to actually do it correctly, um, ang laki ng, ng hindi ko na ayos potential ko. Wow. Mahaba na yun, ha? Sobrang ano na yun. Parang for a beginner, makakaabot ng 2 minutes. Sobrang ano na yun. Success na yun. Uh, But, But ang hirap na sabihin na beginner eh. Kasi I've been, parang nasa tubig na ako ever since a lot of years back. Eh. So pagka may estudyante din ako ngayon na, na tinuturuan, malaking bagay yung prior experience na. Diba? So oh. kakasuot mo lang ng films kahapon. O simula bata ka ba, nasa tubig ka na, nag, nag, nagtadagat-dagat ka na ba. Diba? So a lot of big things, a lot of, of these little things parang pile up kung, kung kamusta ka doon sa tubig or hindi. So with, with people taking up courses, huwag kayong ma-stress masyado. And don't compare yourself with other yung mga kasama nyo. Kasi minsan pangit din eh. Minsan may magandang may magandang push din yun na 
literal there comes a point na baka dangerous na yung 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 parang inggit na yun. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, yun nga. So at least, ayun ha, guys, yung mga uh, aspiring na freedivers natin na nanonood dyan, at least meron tayong tip from Coach Carlo on how uh, to adapt yourself, no? Uh, Parate sabihin ng mga tao, time in the water lang yan, time in the water. Ay, totoo naman. Criticalization. <clears throat> Hello? How is Nag-lag ba ako? The transformation of the free dive community back then yung nagsisimula ka pa uh, and then ano na yung do sa madumating na ng mga years. Ano bang nangyari nung parang slow ang start, very very slow na uh si free diving in Nagawa siya ng competition, first competition in the Philippines, 2012. Tapos ever since from 2012 till mga 2015, 16, 17, it, were, it was almost the same people. Tapos so nakit, kung sino nakapunta dyan sa PDNC last, yung 2019, sobrang nag-boom yung, yung mga tao. So it grew from people wanting to recreationally dive, tingin ng mga isda, and just uh, last year yan. Ang daming, ang daming na nag, nagkaka-interest on, towards the, the sporty side of it. Yes, true. So, ako kasi, uh, I started skiing diving back in 2014. Uh, yung sa dive tabay, sobrang uh, konti pa lang namin. Like, masaya na kami pag merong sampu or lima na magda-dive. Pero right now, Dito sa Davao kasi coach nagparang nag-pick yung free dive talaga around mid 2017 18 19 ganun sobrang daba, uh, sobrang dami na uh, and i guess that's that ang bilis ng ano ng akit yeah oh and pasalamatan yeah. din yung din natin. yung isa pang nakuha na mm sige coach sorry yung isa kong nagustuhan ko din dun sa MBS um lahat sa pamilya namin walang may gusto sa dagat parang ako lang nangyari doon eh so, yung maganda din dun sa MBS is uh, everyone went throughout through the same process na alam mong lahat ng tao kaya nila sa dagat. So, kasama din sa process kasi na yun, siguro you can compare it with the requirements pag course. Uh, may kailangan tapusin. Um, skills test ang tawag nung, nung panahon na yun. So, at least you know na pagdating nyo sa tubig, hindi mal- malulunod yung katabi mo. Or kung, mal- kung may kailangan ng tulong, kaya kasagipin nung kasama mo. Diba? So, nung panahon na yun, yung biggest na na labas ng isang grupo siguro there were about 60 people on one trip para dun sa dive okay. so para imagine na kung ikaw yung head nung nung dive na yun nakakapaning din kasi mawalan ka ng isang tao dun diba? all it takes is one accident yes true yun din yung parang disadvantage cause no parang yeah masaya kasi oh. marami kayo at saka marami na rin naiinggan yung mag free dive Pero yung responsibility mo as, si for example, ikaw yung leader ng group, ang sobrang laki ng responsibility to take charge of the safety ng, uh, ng, ng, ng mga kung sino yung sumama dun sa dive na yun, no? So, mahirap. That's why we need to kubaga learn how to yung safety protocols talaga na tinatawag natin para sa free diving. Kasi yung iba, subok-subok lang, tapos ayun na, kasi natakot, sobrang lalim. Ayun. So, kumbaga walang proper guidance kumbaga ang, ang, ang nangyayari doon. So, uh, yes, sir. sobrang mabigat <laughs> yung lalo na. No. Anyway, coach. Pagkaramdam uh, ko yung ano, ramdam ko yung hirap pa na yeah. <laughs> ikaw yung may hawak sa, 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 sa ano, no? Sa Davao. Oo. Ay, ko pictures yun. Dami niyo yung pagdasa boat. Uh, marami. Basta, kasi... basta, if you know that other people respect whatever safety protocols are there and it's in the culture that that's what you do, wala kang problema. Diba? Yes. Tama. Tama talaga. Uh, kami, minsan, umaabot 30, 40, sakit sa ulo. Pero, yeah. in spite of that, masaya pero, kasi pero, marami nga. Oh, pero, ano lang. Oh. Uh, 
well, nagpapasalamat din tayo, no? Uh, since we are talking about the expansion of or the booming of free diving, nagpapasalamat tayo sa mga tao na uh, to, kubaga making effort para mapakilala yung free dive uh, sa FB page, sa inter, uh, even YouTube, no? Marami sa yan yun sila mga YouTube vloggers natin dyan na nagpo-promote ng free dive, mga free diving group. Uh, we thank them, no? At least nakilala yung free dive sa uh, Pilipinas. And I hope, sana coach, no? Uh, ma-recognize na rin ng uh, Philippine Sports Commission yung free diving. What do you think, coach? May chance kaya? Um, di ko alam, eh. Parang... May pros and cons yan eh. Baka mahirap pag-usapan dito eh. <laughs> Parang on one, one hand, yes, it's good it's good na it's good na ma-recognize kasi you know that it's a sport. Mm-hmm. Pero madami ng madami ng red tape dyan pag gano'n eh. Oh, diba? it's a okay. So, I mean, it has to be talked about by the, I, I would say now, sina Martin na eh. Oo, oh, oh, tama. Sina yeah, na out ng, ng humahawak. The Ida Philippines group. No? Shoutouts pala kay Sir Martin Zapanta. No? Sir, invite kita uh, next time dito sa ating program. Anyway, Coach, uh, eto, uh, pag-usapan natin ngayong hapon, Coach, is uh, ngayong gabi pala, yung importance ng free dive education. Kasi nababalataan natin sa... Facebook ngayon or in social media, maraming nag exist na mga free divers pero medyo walang basics or hindi nakapag, uh, ano, kumaga, well, YouTube, uh, malaking tulong yon pero in your opinion, Coach, gaano ba kahalaga yung free diving education para sa mga not just aspiring but for those yung nandito free dive na, uh, Kumbaga, matagal na rin sa nagda-dive. Okay. Uh, mahirap yung tanong mo. Madami yung tayo makakaway dyan. Yeah, yung mga basic <laughs> um, Ganto. Parang if what, ano ba ang reason nyo para pumunta sa tubig? Maganda ang education, oo. Um, kung ano man ang dahilan nyo para pumunta sa tubig, maghahanap kayo ng grupo or makakakilala na mag-guide sa inyo towards that. Could be, um, uh, weekend warriors ba yan, titingin lang kayo sa dagat, or uh, spearfishing, or or kung, kung gusto nyo talaga lumalim, free dive. Diba? Pero yung natural progression would be you, you do something easy first. Diba? Punta ka sa dagat, langoy ka sa may, sa may tapat niyan. Diba? So, dun pala, may kita mo na kung anong kaya mong gawin. With, with, of course, with the, with the body, with the safety. Um, very basic syempre yung, yung kaya mong i-handle yung sarili yung tubig uh, kaya mong mag, malumutang kaya lumang lumangoy so madami din itong tatanong dito kung, kung kailangan ba marunong ka lumangoy bago mag free dive I would suggest yes pwede ding hindi kasi nga yung gamit yung magpapa magpapadali or magpapabigay sa yung lakas ng loob pero it's still it's still not uh, uh, parang an excuse not to know how to swim kung marunong ka, kung, kung talaga nag-free dive ka na. Kasi if something happens, it's 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 a safety issue. Uh, education naman, kung kung gusto mo namang hanapin kung ano yung next step, so, andun yung mga professionals para magturo sa inyo. So with with people who have more, we who have more experience into what they're trying to teach you in terms of how to do this correctly, pinag-aralan nila yan. And you're sort of sure na yung manner of teaching nila is something is something established. Na? So yung mahirap actually sa pagiging instructor, yung liability. So yun yung nakatakot na may sudyante ka, tapos may nangyari sa kanya. So nung nag-boom nga yung, yung free diving, parating medyo may, may krot sa loob na parang may nangyari to someone. Parang kakilala ko ba yan, sudyante ko ba yan. So it's it's not it, being an instructor is is one path to take, pero it might not be for all. Pero kung kung gusto niyo matuto, it's better to find someone who knows something about it more than you. Sure. Tapos tignan niyo kung anong credentials niya, ano yung 
ano yung alam niya dun sa dun sa pinag-aaralan mo anong happy ka ba sa pagtuturo niya kasi naniniwala din ako na parang a manner of teaching of one instructor might not be right for you mas okay ka dun mas gamay mo yung tao it's about trusting who you choose to be an instructor with can that make sense hey, thank you thank you for that coach no so since uh, meron ka nang ngayong uh, free diving uh, company Mano Mano Free Dive Training Center. Uh, ano ba yung tradition or paano ba mag-enroll magsimula pa for Mano Mano? Um uh, we we teach uh, the courses na. So um ang basic courses will be the either one either two. So I would say na actually yung yung experience ko with establishing Mano Mano is is kinakamot ko lang yung sarili kong kate. So, I'm in Manila, mahirap mag-train. So, gusto mo ding maka mag-improve. So, back then, kailangan may kasama ka magaling. So, anong gagawin mo? Mag-train ka with other people. So, yun actually, people who who have been with Mano Mano for the longest time know that parang about me na, na kaya nag-exist yun is, is for all of everyone's skill level to sort of get better para ako din, syempre, maka 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 improve din ako. So with the with the courses, yan, either one or either two, kung wala ka talagang alam, andun yung either one. Uh, kung experience ka naman sa tubig, uh, nag nag snorkeling ka na, nag nag skin dive ka na, nandiyan yung either two. So it's either the one day course or the two day course. I would say with with the with the school, ang advantage niya is uh, weekend weekend practice andun. So parang shop you you hindi mo kailangan tapusin yung course on one go. So, kung hindi mo kaya, balik ka next week. Pero yung yung demographic na Manila is usually mga tao Monday to Friday nagtatrabaho, weekends lang ang, ang diving. Okay. So, for the information of uh, para, hmm. sa, para sa lahat, no, um, I took up my IDA course 2. No, uh, with Coach Carlo sa Mano Mano and my IDA course 3 uh, with uh, Mark Cruz of Mano Mano. So, laking Mano Mano to. Yeah, oh, congrats pala. Thank, thank you, thank you for, thank you for, nice trip. yeah, thank you for <laughs> sharing your uh, education, Coach. No, Sobrang ang dami kong natutunan and kumbaga, yung mga bagay na dapat i-correct eh, eh na-correct talaga no kasi sa tagal-tagal na nating nag-free dive minsan uh, alam mo yung la- naging lazy na tayo para magbasa para sa para sa education pero doon makikita mo pa rin na if you really want to improve yourself you need to equip yourself with things na dapat mong malaman yung education na yun and yun na nga nagpapasalamat ako uh-huh. ng Mano Mano for for that no shout out sky Mark Cruz yeah. hi bro kumusta yes. <laughs> kumusta kaya yun? I haven't, ba siya? I, ha- I haven't uh-huh. heard so him so for, for the for the uh, nandito pa siya sa Manila pero for the sake of the for the listener si si Richie nag nag uh, nag-ayos sila ng ng group sa Davao so actually yes. uh, invite nila ako to go to Davao to do the course so sila naghanap ng ng location etc so it, it made everything easy. Put the lawa tapos turo. So that was 2016, Coach. Uh, July yata yun. Hindi ka naman alala. <laughs> July yata. Siyempre, sa sobrang dami uh, mo ng students pala, ngayon. Yun pala yun. All passers. Uh, yeah. Hindi ka naman yeah. alala. <laughs> all passers kami. <laughs> Pero everyone passed. It, it's good. Mm. All passers yun. By the way, Coach, eto naman. Sa leveling naman ng, sabihin natin, nag-take ka na ng... Uh, Aida 2. Paano ba para talagang to fast track your education, kailangan bang uh, after Aida 2, mga ilang yung ilang months ba dapat magtake ka ng Aida 3 or 4 and then the next and the next? Yung kubaga period it, para at least to develop up. Okay. Eh, I wouldn't say it's a period but it's more of it's more of um, experience na do the Aida 2, tapos on, keep on on practicing based on kung ano man natutunan mo sa Aida 2. So, yun pa lang, 
dapat may mag-improve na sa'yo on the relaxation, on the technique. Yung technique, maraming kahit either three, maraming maayos pa yan. So even with the either two, kung medyo strict yung instructor mo, pupuntirihin niya yung pati yung technique mo. So even with that, ayusin mo na ayusin. Tapos when you feel sort of a peak na na either nahirapan ka na or kasi yung, yung switch from the two to the three, ang theory niyan is more of yung yung compression na yung squeezes. So parang pag nahirapan ka na sa equalization, um, yun, try to go for the three. Parang right. yung three will equip you with the theory on, on yun, pag lumalim ka na, mas mahirap mag-equalize, bakit yun Yes, true. True. Uh, talagang na-experience ko yan, coach, no? Um, yung nga, sabi ko, 2016 yung IDA 2 ko. It take three years pa bago ako nakapag-decide para mag-IDA uh, 3. So, the moment when... Oh, wala nga. If, if, it, if that's your pace. Yeah, pero talagang nanibago ako. Sobrang, ang dami ko na parang nalimutan. Eh, kumbaga, nahirapan talaga. But, Sabi nga ni Mark Dan, sabi niya sa akin, ID3 is one of uh, the tel- most challenging level para sa sa course uh, lahat ng course ng ng uh, Ida. So, ayun naman. I'd say uh, no, I'd say 2. I'd say 2 ang mahirap. Ah, 2 ba? 2. So I'd ba, say ID2. No? Kasi parang parang from the 2 to the 3, alam mong medyo na practice sa sila. Tapos ano alam mong mahilig na sila. Minsan dun sa two, may mga students na parang ginagamay pa lang nila kung gusto nga nila o hindi. Diba? So, either complete beginners. So, with those people, kailangan, medyo kailangan bumalik-balik sila na mag-practice, mag-practice. Yeah. Yun lang. Uh, minsan kasi, uh, alam mo yung mga weekend, di- weekend divers lang, minsan nga, sa isang buwan, isang beses mm. lang, dalawang beses. So, yun, parang, mihir mahina talaga yung progress mo for 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 kubaga bagi ma develop yung free dive skills uh, uh, okay pero okay if, if, it, it yeah. also sa akin it also depends on ano yung goal mo eh kung ang goal mo naman is yung yung weekend warrior lang na titingin ka lang parang it's just a a fun dive escape happy ka na dun hindi mo na kailang lumalim bakit ka pa mag uh, yes. it, it's more on if you want to to improve yourself. And then yung courses, it gives you a ladder of progression to help you safely go to the next step if you want to. Thank you. Okay, coach. Namumuti na tayo. Namumuti na ako. Ano tayo? Uh, basahin natin yung mga questions ng ating mga viewers. We have one question here from Rawi. Sir Carlo. Okay, so hindi yung nakita. Hello. Uh, sige coach uh, Who are your freediving heroes Mga idol okay. so, Someone um, Looked in the freediving career okay. Someone you um, have always followed Or looked heroes. up into your freediving career Para idolin din namin uh, Yung Hindi nyo ba kilala yung mga ito eh Kasi nung nag-search search ako ng mga freediving Tapos oh yung ganda na freediving Nakalalim si ganito. Yung mga matunog na pangalan pa lang, parang pa nun, si na Martin Stepanek, si Herbert Nitsch. Yung si Herbert Nitsch, one of the, kasi parang siya yung Natalia Mochonova nung panahon niya, di ba? Parang at one point, at, at a long point, he held all of the records. Tapos he focused on the no limits. So in terms of dedication, nakita sila. Towards the latter part of yung career, nakilala ko, yung mga people I looked up to also is um, Guillaume. Uh, for the reason na uh, gusto ko yung pananaw niya in terms of yung progression. Diba? Parang he's safe, he sees if he's, he feels ready for it. Um, tapos, yun ba? Si, hindi ko lang kilala niya si Fred Buil. So, Fred Buil is a photographer. So, kung search niyo, ganda nung pictures niya. Pero very purist siya, very um, naturalist. Lahat ng shots niya o on breath hold. So, lahat walang walang tanke and lahat walang ilaw no artificial light. Wow, I do so, yun. Back then so, kasi mga panahon na yun, nag nagaano din ako nag nag picture picture noon bago nasira. Nasira medyo wala na. Galing, galing doon. 
Um, sige coach, eto dito tayo sa pangalawang tanong from Sir Jerwin Quason. Sir Carlo, with the numerous students that you have, what's the number one obstacle mm. and how you overcome it? Um, hard to say ano yung ibig sabihin ng number one. Number one, kasi each student will have their own different problems. So, siguro yung pinaka pronounced kasi hindi sila makalalim, equalization. So, there are some students uh, na kailangan talaga bumalik-balik para ma-practice yung equalization. And and it might take them a really, really long time just to get the equalization correct. Uh, buti na lang ngayon, madami na mga madami na mga videos, madami na mga um, tools. Pwede gamitin yung EQ tool, andyan na yun. Tati, wala pa yan. Madami na mga nag, naglalabas sa mga na mga instructional videos ngayon kung anong mga ginagawa, anong pwede mong panoorin lahat tapos yung tingnan mo kung ano yung mukha nag-apply, nag-apply sa'yo. When I used to start with with free diving, hindi mo malalaman kung anong problema eh. Tapos yung one day para magka-click lang, ay, may muscle pala akong ganito dito pag ginaganto ko to. So it's hard also to see kasi hindi mo nakikita kung nangyari doon sa loob. Pero bigla mo na lang one day ma-realize na parang, okay, yung pala yun. Pero it's hard to to see it without someone actually telling you or without you realizing for yourselves. So yan, yun yung sa equalization siguro. The other thing is um, your attitude towards, towards diving. Medyo konti lang naman, pero yung mga gahol sa, sige, lalim, lalim. Yung hindi pa sila handa. Yan. Uh, coach, I guess yun, in relation yan sa next question na itanong natin, Ito po yung question ni again ni Rawi. Ano po yung mga pinakaayaw mo na ugali sa mga naging students mo during training? Yun. Uh, yun. So um it it's good na na may par motivation sila. Pero parang ang role lang as instructors is to have you experience it well. So it's not how what would you define is a uh, is a successful freediver, it's not just a depth. Diba? So kung nakakalalim ka nga, pero dangerous naman siya mag, mag-dive, hindi din successful yung student mo. Diba? So it's it's a lot of different little things that that encompasses what makes a successful freediver. So one, is not just depth. So kung either ayaw niya makinig sa'yo, na kasi kung hindi niya kaya, okay lang yun. Parang the skill comes in each person's time. Pero kung, yun nga, matigas ang ulo na parang lalim ng lalim to the point na pagkakyat, hirap na hirap. Pagod, parang yun yung yung mahirap. Mahir- yung parang siguro yun in the mindset nila kailangan tapusin, kailangan tapusin. Tapos parang naka-block off na kung ano yung nagiginig nila from the instructor. May konti, may konting students ako na medyo naging ganun. Yun. Yeah. Uh, even din sa mga free dive groups no mayroon din talaga lalong lalo na yung parang sabi natin naki-join lang tapos magshi-share ka na ganito tapos hindi makikinig and biglang <laughs> nagka-problema uh-huh. talagang kubaga yung liability mabigat medyo pinagtatawanan natin uh, pero ano pero um, it it not it doesn't just go to the to the parang fault of the instructor parang everything goes hand in hand kung ano ba yung kultura ng free diving dun sa yung free dive mo if those things are tolerated, na kita niya nangyari yun, siyempre gagawin din niya. I'm not sure if you, you may, may nag-circulate sa Facebook nun dati, parang may, parang may Pinoy na pumunta sa, sa Japan, tapos nung sabi nung na magka-cross sila ng, ng street, sabi niya, uh, ba't hindi ka tumatawid? Naka, wala namang kotse, nakastop pa. Diba? At ang tabi natin nung, nung kasama niya, parang it takes, siyempre, nakabuta ko na yung sabi niya, it takes, parang paano ko nakita ka ng bata? Gagayahin din niya. So, everything comes from ano yung pinapakita nyo on what is normal in terms of diving. Para kung may baguhan man na sumama sa inyo, yun din ang alam niya na normal. Yes, true, true. Thank you. Thank you for that, Coach. Um, coach, eto naman. Can you give us parang tips uh, mm. yung preparation mo uh, sa health mo uh, before magda-dive ka? Ano ba yung lifestyle? Ayun, talking about your lifestyle. 
Um, lifestyle. Pag magda-dive, sa ngayon kasi parang weekends lang kami magda-dive. So it's not that, that mm-hmm. much. Nung panahon dun sa Mualbual, um, just eat healthier. Diba? Parang cut down on on not so healthy stuff. Uh, personally, I would I won't say everyone, but personally, ako ayoko kumain. Kapag kumain ako tapos na may dive, talagang kukulot siyang ko. So ako, parang I'd rather just drink fluids before if I'm trying to go for a deeper dive. Akin. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Um, how about naman sa ano, coach? Um, mga exercises. Do you do mga heavy exercise a week before the dive or mga ganun? Like lip, weightlifting, uh, sa gym? Noong no college ako, uh, nag-weightlift ako nun. Parang sumama ko doon sa mga weightlifting team. Natin uh, din ako sa gym. Pero I would say na medyo detrimental yun. Kasi tumigas talaga yung katawang ko. So, kung mga kakilala sa akin, hanggang ngayon parang, no, ang tigas ito. So, bulk up din masyado na parang medyo matigas yung, naging, naging matigas yung katawang ko. So, actually ngayon, hindi na gano'n masyado. So, lifting hindi na masyado with with lifestyle, with yung family uh, family uh, responsibilities. Hindi na rin masyado. So, you're a bike every so often, pero uh, hindi na rin ako masyado nakapag-train. Eh, diba? So, if I were to train, siguro, uh, sometime before, invest on physical, cardio, etc. with lifting. Tapos, on towards kung ano yung mga deeper dives mo, medyo tailor fit mo na kung ano yung gagawin mo for dives, dives, dives. So, there was a time din din sa mall ball na nagkaroon ako ng ng stint na, uy, pwede ako mag-isang buwan sa mall ball. Yun yung ginawa ko. So, at least, mm-hmm. before nun, medyo nag-prepare physically, medyo alam mong uh, nasa condition ka para pagdating dun sa mall ball, parang one dive every two days. Every day kung kaya, pero syempre, every, every so often, dapat maglalagay ka ng, ng, ng break. Okay. Uh, ano kaya yung ma-recommend mo, Coach, na parang cross-training for free dive? Mm. Na parang na simple lang. Simple lang for at least kumbaga yung endurance ng uh, isang free Anong dive? meron kayo? Anong available sa'yo? Diba? Anong available sa'yo? Uh, diba? So kung may, may condo ka, may gym ka, may cardio dyan, diba? something you can do frequently na hindi man overtrained. But it's not parang training till broke, tapos yun, pagod na pagod ka, hindi ka na makaulit. Hmm. A little bit each time. So something that you can do regularly, something that's accessible. Swimming, good, better. May may sense ka ng tubig. Diba? Kung wala, yung usually dito sa amin, ang problema, uh, traffic. Diba? So medyo localized yung mga practices kasi hindi ka makapunta sa bahay ng kasama mo kasi late na pagdating mo doon. Even pool sessions, ang hirap mag-organize dito. Pupunta ka sa pool, medyo pag nitinama ka ng traffic, talagang talagang walang makakarating. Diba? So, Stress. try to find something na accessible sa'yo. Uh, so biking, stationary bike, kung, kung, may, kung may area ka na pwede mag, mag-bisikleta, running, jogging, breath hold, training. Breath hold, training. Up near walk, coach, no? Yung mga ganun, no? Static. Mm. No, it's easier than, it's better than to, ano, to find someone to, to coach you through it. Kasi, from from experience and pag ikaw lang gumawa parang ang daling eh ayoko na hindi na gagawin niya unless parang good good ka sa motivation na uh, talagang ito sulat mo ito gagawin ko A, B, C, D and follow through with it pero most likely may kita mo successful dyan yung yung either you do it with a certain group or you check catch up with a certain person or coach magkasabi sa'yo eh hindi na gagawin mo gawin mo na ito Okay, that's good. At least meron na tayong mga insights para makapag-cross-train tayo. Lalo-lalo na ngayon, eh, nasa sure, bahay yeah. lang. Mm, pwede tayo natin gawin. Oh. Ito, Coach, next question from, again, from Jerwin. What do you see in the new generation <laughs> that you think is this detrimental to their free diving? Hmm. Hirap ng tanong mo, Jerwin, ha? <laughs> um, I guess wala naman eh parang e- it's either if you go to a certain school na maayos mo magturo they would catch whatever parang whatever problems that 
needs to be corrected early on. So minsan yung yung maganda din dun sa sa experience, may experience ka na bago mo gawin. Pero yung pangit din dun sa madami experience, madami ka na develop na habits. Either bad habits or kailangan mong i-unlearn. Bago mo, bago ka maka-move forward. So, yes. so um, if you really plan to do something with it, you better find someone who will teach you the proper ways to win. Okay. Hello? Alright. Okay. Okay, bang connection? Okay. Coach, eto lang. Se- segway uh, lang muna tayo. Na, mas, Con- natagot si Jerwin dyan, ah. Uh, wala pa, wala pa. Wala pa siya. Okay, Coach, segway lang. Ano lang? Konting, okay. kumbaga, <clears throat> experience, story mo lang. Way back then, nung sumali ka sa competition, how was the experience, Coach? Yung mga panahon na sumali ka. Um, okay. Any Anything you can share, Coach? Kumbaga, ano yung best experience mo doon? Baka pwede mo ma-share. Okay. Um, okay. Nung masama ako sa competition. So, even though na dapat wala akong stress kasi wala pa namang nag nagko-compete noon. Ako yung one of the people na pagdating ng countdown, and then, okay, wala ka na magawa. Sira na dahil mo. Okay, so it, it took a long time before that actually settled down. Uh, nakainggit nga yung ibang mga tao na parang uh, nakakalma first time nila, pero okay sila. Uh, there's this first time yung 2012, so it was the first time Filipinos actually were were doing competitions from so there were five of us ako si Zian ko na yung Zian Villon ko si Renante Legara so yung nakita niyo sa Mall Bual si Gadi tsaka si Teddy so lima lang kaming uh, Pinoy na nag na compete noon and syempre since bago kami ang announcement namin 25 30 15 na ano so so it, it was very shallow mga kalaban namin mga nag 50 60, 70. So, it was just for the experience and then the fun of it. Tapos, nung, syempre, nung, nung on, on the list, kami nasa mga dulo, mga shallowers. Uh, on the boat going there, syempre, parang napapazenten ka, trying to psych yourself up, uh, kalmado lang. Tapos, pagdating dun sa sa venue, yung umakit na tao, nag-blackout. Sama, sama ng blackout. Tapos, kami na susunod. Wow. And okay. Thank so yun you. Yung, thank you for yun yung intro to fire namin. <laughs> yung panahan na yan. Okay, thank <clears throat> you for sharing that coach. Well, for the information of everybody, si Coach Carlo din uh nagda-judge na rin ng mga free diving competition. Tama ba coach, no? Uh last PDNC nag-judge ka for for that competition. So, on that <clears throat> Uh, sa mga competitions, coach, talking about mga Filip- uh, Filipino athletes natin, kumusta, um, ano yung nakikita mo sa kanila when it comes to yung development as an athlete? Uh, good siya. No? Parang, parang I, I did have the, the judge uh, for a long time. Pero actually, yun nga, yung last year ko lang nakuha yung yung medyo uh, good practice to to use it. So with with that um, with that competitions, ang ganda. Parang people are trying to do first competition, tapos uh, okay yung mga performances sila. So potentially maganda, maganda ang nangyikita ko from the Philippines. Pero parang sana i-balance nila in terms of yung yung kaya nilang gawin. So, um, parang if it's the first competition you've been to, medyo nandiyan pa yung jitters, medyo maging, maging uh, conservative muna kayo. So, uh, com- implyin niyo muna kung kamusta yung, yung jitters sa inyo bago mag-announce. Yeah. Tapos from that, you, you did your first dive, then medyo pwede na kayo mag-adjust. Kung, kung pareho kayo na pagdating ng countdown, ang lakas ng tibok ng puso ko, wala. Parang... Hindi ko maabot yun kung, kung nag-announce sa kumalalim. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, sana nga, no? Masundan uli yung Filipino competition, freediving, uh, ano yan? Philippine National 
uh, depth competition. Sana masundan pa yun para at least maingganay yung mga Fil- uh, Filipino freedivers na, na uh, uh, mag-join sa mga competitions na ganoon. Alright? So parang isang... I would say din na, no? I would say na... Hmm. I would say na uh, uh, parang we're also very fortunate na hmm. medyo naging freediving hub ang Philippines. Yes. Kasi uh-huh. we get so much experience just looking or just following the schools of other other freediver freedivers diba? so sina panglao yan ang galing nila mag-organize ng competition diba? uh-huh. so e- even with the with how they with, with they dive pandami ko kulot pa nila uh-huh. saka sobrang proud tayo dito sa Pilipinas kasi parang halos lahat ng mga top notch na freediver sa buong mundo ay eh, nakapag-train na dito no Uh, name it, Alex si Mulchano. Yeah. So, iba yung mm. talagang freedivers haven talaga yung ang Pilipinas. Lalong lana sa Panglao, uh, Molboal, ayun. Sobrang uh, maganda doon. And I hope yung mga hindi pa nakapunta doon eh, take time to visit uh, by next year siguro kapag maayos na ang lahat. Anyway, Coach, uh, mm. alam ko meron kang product na uh, gustong i-promote ngayon. Maybe you wanted to share that product to us, lalong lalo sa akin, kasi medyo nahirapan pa rin, pa rin ako sa terms with equalization. Baka gusto mo ipakita or okay. i-promote sa ating mga nanonood ngayon, Coach. Okay, so para to just give a, a background then. Um, yung oh, I'm sure na parang you've, you've seen what an equalization tool is ba? so parati pag uh, pag uh, courses medyo nahihirapan sa equalization or people come back to to the center just to work on equalization um, yun yung susubukan namin i-promote ba? It's, it's something small and given the given the diving profile of of Manila wala, hindi naman everyday na nakadive eh. So, bihira yung mga tao na nandun Monday to Friday para maka-work sa diving. So, at least when you're not in the water, you can try to do something. Pero parating pag naabot mo yung EQ tool, um, medyo ibabalik na siya, medyo mahal eh. Diba? So, people from from the, from ano man, ano na parang, sinubukan namin gumawa ng mga mas mura. Diba? So, yung mga, yung mga plug ng ilalim ng, ng table, Yan, try mo yun kung lagyan mo ng butas, okay ba hindi? So we've tried to DIY things, pero eventually, ito nga, parang dala din ng quarantine, wala magawa. Um, try to make the most of your of, of the time na lang. So it's uh, the EQ tool. Um, it's simple. It's It looks like an EQ tool. Tapos may mga Ayun. ibang mga uh, balloons na it's party balloons nga lang. So Wash, wash before use. So may malaki, may maliit. So parang I won't get into how to use it pa lang kasi it, yes, for, uh, for Manila people, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing to have kasi hindi naman araw-araw nakadive tayo. Tapos minsan nangyari doon sa divers namin, syempre, sabado, linggo lang yan. You want to make the most out of yung Saturday, Sunday mo. Tapos on Monday ulit, or baka ka na ulit, wala ka na ulit sa tubig. So in between, it's, it's something to do. Okay, good. That's good. Ah, uh, coach, ano yan? Locally made yan? Dito lang sa Philippines natin pinagawa yan? Dito mo lang sa Philippines? Ah, uh, oh, 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 oh. Malapit wow, lang. Wow, that's good. Wow, oh, that's good. It's not perfect. It's, good. it's not perfect. Pero it works. Mm. Eh, ang tanong is how much magkano yan para makapag-order na? Uh, uh, Kung tingnan niyo dun sa, sa post, it, I'm selling at 375 So, mga $375,400. right, So, it's also available in Lazada? Yung nakita ko kasi, sila lang yung gumagana ngayon. So, just to make, mm. just to, to make the most out of yung call. Ang hirap magpa, magpa ship ngayon. So, even with Lalamove, with Grab, hindi ka makakuha. Oh. So, nakita ko lang na si Lazada is still is still functional. Medyo matagal lang delivery pa rin, pero at least it's still functional. And right, nung panahon good. din na yun, hindi na natin lang kung gano'ng katagal pa tong quarantine. So, doon ko na muna nalagay. Well, 
that's good. At least uh, habang nasa bahay, they can uh, order now. No, at least kami dito sa Davao, uh, we can order online. At uh, and I hope, Coach, uh, maglabas ka rin sana. Sana po if uh, makapaglabas ka rin ng video, kumbaga instructional video para paano gamitin yan para sa mga yung mga nasa malalayong lugar eh they can they can learn how to use the free to, uh, the, the EQ tool. Okay, so, yeah, pag-isipan ko yan. <laughs> oh, Tapos na um, if if you want pa lang din, uh follow the page na parang we have also little things here what, what that can help to diving in the next uh um, oh. itong itong post covid season. Parang we're, we're, I'm also trying to think about um some other stuff. TBA. Okay. To be announced. Okay, co- yes, coach. Um, um sa mano mano ba ngayon, do you uh, conduct mga online classes? Uh, okay. sa ngayon, hindi pa. So I was thinking lang na na once this quarantine is over, uh, medyo kate mga tao to dive. So uh ako din, syempre, ako gusto ko din mag-dive din. So I I would think na na most of the time would be spent on on getting the people to just dive again. So may classes then, syempre, kung, kung may mga gusto mag-classes, andyan pa rin naman. Pero we will change a lot of things in the manner of diving. Syempre, post-COVID, um, ano yung mga norms would be different. So, alam niyo social distancing, but it doesn't end there. Diba? So, bakit ba tayo yung social distancing para hindi ka mahawaan? Pero, yeah. paano ka mamahawa? So, either by direct contact, uh, yung yung droplets spit diba or kung anong uh ubo at ching diba kung malapit ka matamaan ka pero it's not just that so mahawa ka mo yung baso nawa ka yung baso ni ibang tao diba? so there are we're, we're still coming up with the protocols pero it, it's it's going to be a little bit more than just social distancing and and limiting the number of people kasi na limit mo nga pero um paano ka mag-recovery breath, pinubugahan mo yung tao sa mukha. Yes. Diba? So, we have to rethink of how we dive them. <clears throat> okay. Coach, do you want to add something? Ano pang gusto mong i-add uh, na mga insights before we will end our show? Um, uh, ano lang, siguro, parang just try to get through this uh, situation that we have. If you can keep yourself sane, physically fit, by doing something at home, then good. Pero, ako medyo Thank hindi you. masyado. Pero if you can. <laughs> tapos pag, pagkaya na mag-dive, yan, mag-dive tayo. Ako yes. kaya din na mag-dive. Sana nga, sana nga, makapag-dive na. Coach, do you want to uh, greet someone sa mga from Mano Mano and the rest of the friends natin sa community na free diving? Um, hindi ko na hitok sa'yo nandiyan. Pero, yan, everyone from Manumano, Manu, Manu, malapit na. Diba? May, nag, may gumawa na ng ano, baka ang guidelines, uh, baka pwede ng swimming. So, medyo maghanda-handa na tayo. Oo. Oh, kakaigit <laughs> naman sa inyo. Okay. Oh, hmm. I would say na medyo strict pa nga nila. So, I won't, may, may matagal-tagal pa yung konti. Pero, may pupuntahan naman. Alright. Okay. We just want to uh, mm. say thank you to our viewers uh, right now. We have shout-outs to our uh, viewers, Ariel Martinez, si Sir Jerwin Kwason. Thank you for uh, share, uh, giving questions, sir. Mr. Farhan Sharif, Rawi Jun, Nico Topas, Genjio, um, Daniel Flores Castro, Ariel Martinez, uh, John Marquez, Aaron De La Cruz, uh, sino pa na dito? Maria Cristina Raposa, uh, Henry Rafael Diaz, hmm. John Mendoza, nandito rin. Dami ah. And, yeah, mara- Sir Jake yeah, Alejandre, no, thank you. Thank you, thank you I for... I would also like to thank you, Sir Richie, di ba? Uh, for, for organizing this, kasi... Uh, yeah. Okay, so wala tayong ginagawa. Diba? So it's, it's a venue for, for people to share what they have, what they know. So to keep the freediving community going. Yeah. 
Ang ganda to coach parang it's out of the blue biglang naisipan ko lang. <laughs> And thank you. Thank you for Good ano job. sa coach. Uh, maraming salamat talaga for um kubaga accepting my invitation. It's an honor na naging guest oh, po kayo sa ating show. Yeah. Request. Yung coach natin Ahala. from Mano Mano. My pleasure. Okay, coach, um uh, any parting words? Ano ba? Uh, stay safe lang tapos nun. Pag kaya pwede na mag-dive, mag-dive tayo. Alright. Okay, guys. Uh, that's it. Palakpakan natin Coach Carlo Navarro from Mano Mano uh, Free Dive Training Center. Coach, thank you very much. Maraming maraming salamat sa'yo for sharing your one hour you with din. us. Thank you din, Richie. Thank you. Kung so, may mga tanong pa kayo, yan. pwede nyo namang... Yeah, sure. I- They can message post. you in, ano, no? In page sa Mano Mano. And ayun. Yeah, or, All right, or, coach. Uh, yung sa yes. post po. Opo, opo. Thank you yeah. po. So thank you very much, coach. Thank See you, you much, soon. Richie, then. At saka sa mga yeah. community projects natin next time, babalik ka ng Davao. Maraming maraming salamat sa'yo, yes. coach. Maraming yes. naisip yan kung, kung kaya. Pag-contacting kita pag, uh, na, ano, pag uh, yeah. pwede nang gawin yung mga yun. Dami, dami din ako naisip para dyan sa post Davao. Hmm. Nagihintay na si uh, Imam sa'yo. Nabis ka na noon. <laughs> okay, Coach. Maraming salamat. Ah, salamat. Okay. Good evening sa'yo and God bless you. Stay okay. safe. Thank you, then. Good evening. And your whole family. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, ayun. That is, that is for episode three. And again, we thank you for our guest speaker, uh, Coach Carlo Navarro, for sharing his Uh, insights about free diving no so i hope uh, marami kayong natutunan and i would just like to uh, ask apology medyo nagkaroon talaga tayo ng problema sa aking audio i don't know kung uh, sa laptop ba or sa connection but uh, then again sana uh, tuloy-tuloy pa rin kayo and hope you have this mga takeaways Uh, take notes kayo sa mga sinabi ni Coach Carlo, no? Kasi I'm pretty sure those things are very, very important na, da- na dapat natin malaman. Uh, kahit na we're on the situation right now na nasa bahay, but still applicable pa rin to kapag ka magda-dive na tayo. Soon, soon. Sana nga. Sana nga. So, ayun. Again, shoutouts sa lahat na tumutok uh, dito sa ating show. Uh, si Jerwin Kwason, sir, thank you. Uh, Rawi June, oh, si Tito Bang Gumalo, Tito Bang, thank you very much uh, for tuning in. No? So, with that guys, uh, hopefully magkita-kita pa rin tayo sa next episode natin. Um, I will be posting uh, updates for the next episode within this week. No, I'm sure uh, mag- exciting na naman yung ating magiging next guest speaker. But right now, di ko man sabihin kung sino siya. No, para may s- merong thrill kung baga. All right. So again, this is your boy Richie. Abragan from Dive Tabao, Dabao and Free Dive Talk Filipinas. Uh, stay safe kayo dyan sa mga bahay ninyo. And uh, God bless us all and make yourself productive. Bye for now, guys. Thank you. <music>